In today's video, I'm going to talk about pink cloud syndrome. This was a term that was first introduced by the big book in Alcoholics Anonymous. And what pink cloud syndrome is, is the time when you're new to recovery, you are extremely excited to be clean or sober, and you have a sense of euphoria for life. Okay. Now, typically this time does not last forever. This, this awesomeness, this feeling of being on, a, on cloud nine and, and feeling fantastic. So what a lot of people like to tell new, people that are new to recovery is to watch out, all right? Because during this time, you become very confident. Some people become overconfident. They stop um, carrying through with uh, the programs that they set up for themselves um, they stop reaching out for people for help because they feel like, you know what, I got it, all right? I feel great. This is the best I've ever done. I'm going to start helping other people, blah, 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 all right? And when you get like that and you don't have a lot of clean time and this feeling goes away, okay, and reality comes back and you're not feeling 2,000%, you're not going to know where to go and a lot of people end up relapsing, all right? So, when you do have this time period in the beginning, you need to take a step back and realize that this feeling, this euphoric feeling will not last forever, all right? And you need to continue to do the right things in your recovery. You need to continue to work at your recovery and learn as much as you possibly can. If somebody who's been in recovery for a long time sees that you're, on, you're having a pink cloud syndrome and they want to talk to you about it, be open to it, okay? A lot of people don't even know this exists. So when you feel fantastic and you feel like you're $2 million and you're new to recovery, understand that you need to continue to work. You aren't going to feel like this forever. I hate to burst your bubble. Uh, I mean, I'm happy as a pig and shit, but I remember that time period. Okay. And you feel like $2 million. All right. So understand that it won't last forever. You need to continue on whatever program you're running for yourself and stay vigilant in your recovery because if this feeling drastically goes away one morning i don't want you reaching for for drugs or, or or drinks or whatever you're doing okay um understand that this is a real thing pink cloud syndrome you can look it up on google there's millions of articles written about it and it's something you need to understand is um, a part of the process not everyone has um not everybody goes through this i personally did and um I enjoyed the time. I continued to, to bust my ass in my recovery, but um, I could see how it could be extremely dangerous for people that are new to it. All right. Um, and one thing I want to tell you, I obviously put a lot of time trying to help people. And I started to, to write on my blog within the first year of my recovery. And I was answering emails and everything else. It's very important for you to concentrate on your own recovery the first year. I know you have a lot of friends and people that you want to help because you feel fantastic, but it's best to concentrate on yourself the first year. Get a good foundation for your recovery before you start helping other people. Okay, I just want to get that out there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. Ah, I didn't mess that one up. And check out uh, some more videos. Thanks.